What's up everybody, it's your boy Beam here. For breakfast, I had, well I'm going to have, a, well I had a banana and I'm going to have a bagel uh, for lunch. I didn't really have anything and for dinner, I don't really know what we're having. I'm just hanging out today. I got word this morning that um, my CompTIA A plus exam that I scheduled for um, September 17th on Tuesday, like next Tuesday, um, was canceled. And they were like, sorry, we can't fulfill this appointment, which sucks. Um, so I, I might, uh, so there are quite a few options for uh, tests. I would take a test at, um, on the same day, but the I already have it starting at 12.30 and the, and the test takes 135 minutes. So it would be done, well, I have 135 minutes worth of time to do the test. Um, so um, worst case scenario, I would be done by, I don't know, like, uh, I, I'd be done by what? Two forty-five, um, and then I want I need to show up fifteen minutes before. Like I don't know. I just don't want to. I really don't want to do both tests on the same day. That seems like a lot of trouble. Um, and the next available day, aside from the nineteenth, which is when I take my second test, which is now going to be my first test. Um, the next available day is the 24th, and school starts on the 23rd. So I don't know if I can take the test, like the first CompTIA plus exam, um, at the place I was going to take the second exam, which sucks. I'm going to have to go to two places. Um, so I'm thinking um, I could go to one place, uh, and they have many days open. It seems like they're open every day of the week um, for exams. Um, and I could take it the day before. I could take it on the 18th, or I could take it on the 17th. But it's still further away, it's like a couple miles further away, and it's like a really long bus trip. It's really bothersome. Um, so... So I don't really know. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking about it. I'm gonna ask my dad about it when he's awake from his nap. And, yeah. Nothing's really going on. I have therapy today. Um, I woke up at 4.50 something. Um, I walked four miles on the treadmill. I burned. My phone's off right now because it's charging. Um, I've already walked 10,000 steps, which is nice. And I burned uh, 670 calories, which I'm pretty happy about. It's nice because I'm going to walk home from the strip mall, which is where I take the bus to uh, from therapy. So that's going to be a lot of exercise today. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Uh, then I came upstairs, took a shower, um, cleaned my boots, did some laundry. Um, it always seems like I'm doing laundry in my live stream every 45 or 50 minutes or so, I say I'm gonna have to go to do laundry. What I mean by that is a lot of the time over the weekend, I have my gloves in the dryer. I have these white, cotton gloves that I wear when I go to sleep and I wear socks over them. My hands, you can't see it because I'm I, I'm kind of lucky right now, but you can see it on my face a little bit. My face is a little weird and pink, but I have pretty bad eczema. Um, so to prevent myself from scratching my skin at night, I wear these white gloves um, and I put lotion on, I put gloves over it. But because they're reusable, I have to wash these gloves all the time. Um, so. They don't really dry after one cycle. I think it's because they're so tiny and the drying sort of depends on friction. I think it would be better if I dried them with some towels or something, but anyway, um, I, I have to just turn the dryer on like a few times. It's like a few cycles or three or four and uh, and they're dry. And that's what I mean by doing laundry. Um, but yeah, you know, nothing else is really going on. Um, I am I might play a little Factorio um, because I have to leave at noon and I like to start getting ready at 11, but I really don't need an hour to get ready, you know? Um, I just need maybe 40 minutes or half an hour. Um, well, my shoes are already untied. I, when I get home, I just sort of unhook my tied shoes from the little hooks because they're boots, you know? It's like holes for the, for the shoelaces and then there's little hooks. So I just undo it from the hooks and I just leave. Oh, I, oh, I just take my boots off that way, uh, but they're still tied together, right? And so uh, I'm basically delaying the time I untie my shoes from when I get home to when I have to leave. So, um, and that's just better for me because I can have it on 
like my desk, I can place it down and it's like a lot easier. Um, so, so the thing is, is that I typically have to factor in me untying my shoes to get ready for somewhere. Um, but, uh, and I triple tie them cause I use paracord, right? And paracord is kind of slippery. So, um, what am I saying? So, um, uh, so because I put, clean my boots, my shoelaces are already untied, so I don't have to really worry about that. Nothing else is really going on.